Here we go. It's another year. It's another time to get out and vote. It's November 3rd, 2020. So, if you're an American, if you live in the United States of America, you need to get out, go out, find your polling place, and vote, 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 vote. But do it with education. Do it basically finding out about your polling, pl your people that you can vote for and the issues that are on the ballot this year in your area. Find out about that really, really quick. Refresh yourself. Do a quick, what's on my ballot in district, blah, 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 blah. And that'll tell you what you can and can't vote vote for in your area. Um, yeah, not going to work. Anyway, that'll tell you what's in your area for you to vote for. That'll tell you who's in your area that you can vote for. And that gives you a quick rundown of what people think. Now, that's kind of last wire thing, so hopefully you guys have looked at a little bit more than that. But, get out and vote. What, one thing that really drives me crazy is when people talk about I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, and that's what they do is they vote that party line. If, if you're just voting an R or a D because of where you live and what you think, then you didn't actually look at what that person stands for. So, you need to double check what that person stands for. You need to maybe look at what that person has done. You need to make sure that you know what they've done. <clears throat> because if you just listen to smear ads or if you just listen to ads without looking at what they've done, then you're going to fall prey to either voting down that party line or voting that person away. Kind of for example, and I can say that because this one's on Papa Ben's vlog so you guys get a little more insight into me. For example, and I'm not going to tell you what I'm voting for or not, one of Paulette Jordan's ads in Idaho talks about Senator Jim Risch in Idaho has been in politics for a long time and he's now worth millions of dollars. And he's been in politics a long time, so therefore he must have gotten all his money from politics. Now... If you do a little bit more research and you look at it more than, oh crap, he's been in for 40 years and he's a millionaire. Oh, why? We can't have senators that are millionaires. If instead what you do is you look up at the businesses that Jim Risch has built and sold, you look at the size of his farm and what he owns and his assets that he owns on that farm. You take a look at his voting style. You take a look at, and then you stop and you, for yourself, you make that decision. Is he just a pure senator? And so he's made, I think he's worth 15 million or something like that. He's made 15 million just on the backs of his people or is he like what the uh, founding fathers and further into the future wanted them to be essentially he is not a senator first he is a family man, businessman, he is his area, that's how he makes his money. He doesn't rely 
on the Senate or the House of Representatives or the Congress or the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue or anything like that to make his money because they originally wanted you to be monetarily sound before you got into the Senate, before you got into politics. So, you have to stop and think, does that fit or does that not? And then you have to look, okay, so did he make his money because of his politicking or his business? Now, if you're of this mind that business bad, then you're going to choose that it doesn't matter what he's done or how hard he's worked or if he had money before he started into politics. You're going to just say because he has money, he is bad. Because he has business, he is bad. And I don't necessarily believe that. What I believe is you have to look at the company. You have to look at the person. You have to look at what they do and what they say and their actions. Because, like I said, actions speak louder than words. That's one of those sayings that is out there that I believe. So if you listen to the actions, if you listen to the what their businesses that they own do, then you make that decision for yourself. Am I okay with that or not? And that's what you kind of have to make that decision on. And so if you take and do that, then... We got two dogs playing outside. It's kind of funny. Anyway, if you take and do that, you... To me, it matters a little less what decision you came up with. If you can talk to me and tell me and actually have a discussion with me about why you came up with that decision. There we go, guys. That's the video today. Um, unfortunately, I do have quite a bit of stuff that goes on to Papa Ben's vlogs that is waiting in the queue to be uploaded. Sorry about that. But I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. I hope you all get out and vote. I hope you get out and educate yourself on the vote. And you all have, again, like I said just a few seconds ago, a wonderful and blessed day.